Welcome back to Camp Rogers TV. So we're here with Henry Burris, part hey. of the Ottawa Red Blacks. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Excited to be here with you guys. Mm -hmm. Beautiful day out here at Camp Dover Court. I mean, the first time ever out here, but you know what? This is something as a kid I wish we had, but you mm -hmm. know, it's great to see that the youth today are able to take advantage of opportunities like this. And I mean, it seems like everybody's having a great time with mm -hmm. great weather. Yeah. yeah, we're excited to have you. So how's your injury doing? You know what? Uh, of course, everybody can see this little crazy contraption I have on it, but it, it really secures the hand. And my finger's quite ugly if you can see it. But uh, what happened was I was throwing a pass against mm -hmm. Edmonton. And the thing is, it's a joint, my finger is. And of okay. course, when I was throwing, I hit a helmet. And of course, when yeah. you hit a joint, it has to go one direction. And unfortunately, it went that way. Yeah. And uh, so I tore my ligaments and, and chipped some bone. But thankfully, we, were, we allowed it to heal over the last month. And we came with this contraption to help, you know, really create more security and stability with it. And now I'm at the point where I can play, so I'm really looking forward to getting yeah, back out good. there and, and entertaining uh, our home faithful. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been playing football for? Oh, for a long time. I think we added it up. I started playing at the age of 10 years old, now I'm 41. So 31 years of my life has been devoted to the game of football. And, and uh, for what better place to finish off my career uh, but in Ottawa. <laughs> so do you have any post football yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, kind of what you both are doing here today. Uh, you know, I've been working with CTV Morning Life in yep. Ottawa during each off season, and it's something mm -hmm. I, I've aspired to do. Uh, you know, since uh, my uh, collegiate career, uh, mm -hmm. I earned my degree in broadcast communications. Okay. And, uh, it's something that I've always enjoyed doing, talking to people, getting to know people. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so definitely, you'll, you'll be seeing me on TV early mornings, waking up at 3 a.m. Wow. Uh, to try to wake people up in the right manner and get them off to a great start during their day. Mm -hmm. So, do you ha have like pre-game rituals? Very creepy though. You sure you want to hear them? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, no, they're not that creepy. Uh, I'm a guy. I, you know, honestly, I like to. I like to eat steak and eggs or steak and pasta, and then of course mm -hmm. I'll add some salad to it. But I do have a weird tradition where it's not that weird. Like a, like some other guys. I know some guys who like to get slapped in the face to wake them up, and, and I'm just like, no, don't slap me, please. Yep. Like for me, honestly, I take. I get a Snicker bar, okay. and I'll cut it in half. I'll eat one half the Snicker bar for the first half of the game. And then at halftime, we go in, I eat the second half of the Snicker bar for the second half of the game. And it's always brought me good luck. So hopefully uh, it can bring us even better luck. But even more importantly, hopefully hopefully it can bring us home a Grey Cup this year as well. Yeah. <laughs> well, congrats on going to the Grey Cup last year. Hey, thank you so much. I mean, a year or two to be able to take Ottawa to the Grey Cup, where this city truly belongs as far mm -hmm. as to be represented each and every year. And we're hoping we can do it again this year. But for us to turn this organization around in two years and uh, go represent us in the Grey Cup and be only one drive away from winning it, now it's really inserted that passion for us to get back there again this year, but get the job done. That, that's, that's our motive this year is to mm -hmm. finish off what we started. And uh, right now we're five, six games into it. And, uh, you, know, we're, we're, you know, we feel good about our chances. Okay. So do you follow any sports either than football? You know what? I'm a big sports guy. You know, I love golf. I love tennis. I'm a big MLS. I'm a big NASL soccer guy. You know, I'm a big Bayern Munich fan when it comes to, to Real football, I call it, for using the feet with real football. But I follow all sports. Uh, both my kids uh, that are 10 and 7, Armand and Baron, they both play hockey. So my wife, Nicole, and I, we're all over the place. I'm now knowing what the crease is. I didn't know the ice in hockey had hash marks like in football, but there's actually hash marks. And I know what all sides is. And icing, I used to think icing was, you know, they're just trying to put icing on the cake. But now I know it's actually a, a penalty in hockey. So uh, there's a lot of things to learn about the game of hockey. And it's a very interesting game. It's too cold though. In the summertime when it's 30 degrees outside, I don't want to be yeah. at a minus 10 rink, but you know, it's a very interesting game and my kids love it and I'm really uh, taking a love for that game. How's your process with becoming a Canadian citizen going? It's going very well. Uh, we've gotten a lot of help uh, from our MLA and, and uh, you know, from a lot of different people, our MP. Uh, a lot of people have really stepped up, stepped up to help us out uh, and uh, to give us, you know, the road to take. And right now we're going through the process now. And, uh, you know, we hope hopefully uh, by this fall, you know, we'll have our permanent residency. So, you know, we're wanting to take it one step at a time. You know, we don't need any favorable, uh, you know, uh, you know, we don't need any perks to happen for us. We want to go through the process like everybody else. Mm -hmm. So hopefully by this fall, uh, you know, we'll we'll be able to call this place home. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to help teach us how to throw a football? Yeah, I'm actually going to bring Nick in right now. And, and you know, Nick, Nick's got good hands, they were saying. So okay. I'm going to teach Nick uh, just the pointers of throwing a football. Mm -hmm. So one thing I'm going to show you, Nick, is when you throw, you're going to start with the ball here in your hand with your thumb up. Here, let's do your left hand or the right? Oh, your left hand. Okay. So basically you're going to start here, hold it. We're going to have you hold it by the laces right there. So you're going to start with thumb up. And when you throw, you're going to rotate the hand with thumb down, okay? 
Keep your elbow up because the higher your elbow gets, the higher the ball will go. Okay, there you go. Now make sure you rotate down because when you did that time, you threw and you rotated here. You stopped here, and that's why the ball went there. So go at your target. Make sure your throwing shoulder finishes at your target. Okay, so my right arm shoulder is going to finish at you with the thumb down. So I'm going to step to you. And you see my arm, my, my thumb is pointing down and my right shoulder is pointing at you, so your left shoulder should be pointing at me. Whoa, there we go. You see that was nice. Yeah. Now make sure you get the shoulder pointing at me because your shoulder's still here. Yeah, get that shoulder around. So when you throw, there you go, right here. Okay. There you go. That's good though. That's good. You're good. It's gonna be a perfect one here. Look at that. Look at that. You are money. So money you don't even know it. Good job. Yeah, thank you, Nick. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you so much for having me. It was nice to talk thank to you. you. So next time I got to teach you both how to throw next time okay. you have me on, well, okay? thank you. That'd be perfect. Thanks so much. Let's take a look at Scooter Camp now. Hello, I'm Leonard, and today we will be learning about Scooter Camp at Dover Court. Today, we'll be talking to Jaden. Jaden, what kind of activities do you do in Scooter Camp? Uh, in this Scooter Camp here, uh, for the younger kids, we're trying to stick towards the more easier tricks. Just like the bunny hop, like I was saying, key trick. Uh, also the 180. Uh, even as something as simple as dropping in as well uh, is, a, is a very key, key trick to learning. Uh, we're just sticking towards bar spins too as well, tail whips, just the absolute basics to get them uh, used, to, used to the tricks. And so it's a very, very beginner camp, I guess, to get them interested. Do you need your own scooter or do they provide it for you? The kids seem to all have their own scooters. Now, I did hear that we did have some extra scooters, but um, no, everyone showed up first day all ready to go. They all had their own scooters and um, I'm, I'm seeing some pretty nice ones too, so. Do you need any experience with scooters to join Scooter Camp? With this camp here, you don't need to even have stepped on a scooter before. It's, it's very beginner, teach absolute basics, um, and it's just, it's any, any level even would be, would be, but beginner, sure, absolutely. It's, it, it's very helpful, especially for those who, who aren't so used to the sport. Uh, I'd say definitely any level is fine. Do you guys have anything special at the end of the week for the kids? On the Friday at the end of the week, we're going to do a, a little sort of a jam. So we're going to set up some more ramps and it'll be me. Ethan and Ryan there, the uh, uh, the scooter riders, and we're gonna just we're gonna go at it. We're gonna show the kids some some cool tricks, you know, some maybe some flips, and uh, and and they'll we'll, they'll uh, I think they'll really really like it. And so I think uh, that that'll be on Friday, and it'll be a good time. Everyone will have have fun. Thanks, Jake. For Camp Rogers TV, I'm Leonard Crew. How many hours of training did you need to become a police officer? Okay, so when I first joined, we uh, do two weeks of in class, so just to learn about the Ottawa Police and you know who reports to who, what kind of sections we have, and then you go to the Ontario Police College, which is down in Aylmer, Ontario. It's kind of near London, Ontario, and in those days we spent 15 weeks there. Then we came back and we spent 500 hours with a coach officer. So, what is the weirdest criminal you've ever caught? The weirdest criminal. Hmm, I guess it just depends how you describe weird. Um, let me see, that's a really difficult question. I'm not sure I have a really good answer for a weird criminal. Um, yeah, I don't, think I, have a, I don't think I have a question, an answer for a weird criminal. Have you ever been awarded for any accomplishments in your job? I have, actually. I've got a few awards. Um, you can see that I've got a couple of medals here. Um, one of them is the Queen's Jubilee, so I got that as a result of a lot of work that I do with the Canadian Association of Chiefs of Police. But I also got a Medal of Bravery. Um, I caught a bank robber who uh, had a gun and took off and was running in a shopping centre and I caught him. And I uh, got back $17,000, so the bank was very happy. Um, I got another award for catching somebody who cashed a whole bunch of fraud checks and I was off duty and I saw somebody running after them trying to catch them and I caught them and held them until the police came. What was the hardest part about training to be a police officer? Oh, that's an easy question for me. I didn't swim and in the, when I joined 35 years ago, police had to be able to swim four laps of four different strokes 
and be able to do a deep water dive. I was what they called a rock. I had to go to a rock club every day after my classes. And I actually was, they gave me, I had another award that I won. It was called the Boulder Award because I was that bad. When I first arrived for my swimming, um, I put on a life jacket. I had a, a water skiing belt and a flutter board so that I could get in the shallow end. But by the end of my 15 weeks, I swam all 16 lengths. I did the deep water dive and I did the help position. So I was pretty determined to get this job.